Hey guys, this is Moose here, and you're watching Vape Talk TV. Today I got a review of the Black Copper Stingray Clone, okay? And it's a mechanical mod, and it's really nice looking. Okay, we got three tubes. We got the uh, 18350, the 500, and the 18652. And it also comes with a drip tip, a matching drip tip. So, that's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to take the button off here because we're going to be using this in 18650 mode today. And here's the button. Copper contact. Very nice. Cool. Inside the button here is magnet. So no spring in that. Just a, uh, just a magnet. What I found really interesting was that the uh, there's lock rings on each tube, which normally they only come with one. In the pictures that I've seen so got the top cap which also has a floating pin so all of your atomizers will fit flush with this device okay let's try let's get this there we go so there we go get a shot down there so there are a couple of pros and cons to this device okay we'll start off with the pros like I said earlier the top cap uh, has the floating pin in it so all of your devices will fit flushly on here, uh, which is great. Uh, the button also is magnetic, so it's a nice smooth throw. It's not crunchy or anything, at least uh, not like my other Stingray is. This is a nice, very nice button. Uh, it's got a copper contact, and the top contact is copper as well. Um, the uh, well, you know, here, let's move into the cons now since I got the button off. This button, the plastic piece here, it's just, it's kind of loose, okay? So there's a, it, it doesn't take much to turn this. So when you screw the, when you screw it in with a battery in it, you kind of crank down that connection as the battery holds it in place. So the button actually will lock up in this mod will just fire on its own. So for an unexperienced vapor who who might not know that that ha would, would happen with this device or you, you know put it in his pocket and think he locked it and all of a sudden it starts going off, which has happened to me. It's not a I mean that's a big big con for this device. But other than that, when you get it working if you screw the bottom in first and drop the battery in through the top, which we're going to do right now, that should clear up all the issues. So I'm going to screw this bottom cap on right now and we'll talk about another little con too. Uh, the threads on this device, at least the first, the top ones, just it doesn't really catch correctly. I mean, once you do catch it, it's pretty smooth, like it's not very squeaky. But overall, I love. I, I really like this device. It's a, it's a great looking device. I guess once the black paint starts to come off, you could, uh, you know, strip it all off and it'll be just a regular copper uh, mod. I got a fully charged eight, uh, 18650 Sony VTC5. Uh, it's a 2600 milliamp hour battery, so you can go for a pretty long time with a consistent vape, depending on your taste. I, pr I can run one battery all day and it doesn't really matter to me. So as you can see, that, that button is kind of, doesn't really look like it's pushing very well. So we're gonna see what happens when I throw an atomizer on this. Uh, and I got it right over here. I'll be using the Tugboat RDA uh, that I had in le the, my last video which will be linked in an annotation or, and down in the description. Whoa, yeah, see that startled me already. We got that little issue there. So I'm gonna back off this battery. And we'll see, we'll take this bottom cap off real quick. All right, normally I lose the top of this. This will come unscrewed. So I'm gonna screw this back on as light as possible. Let's try to get this thing sitting flush real quick. Okay. 
All right, so there we go. Whew. This, uh, this atomizer is reading at uh, 0 0.3. Let's see if I could just get this a little tighter. There we go. All right, let's see. Fully charged, that is very hot vape. And like I said, that's a three, a point three ohm coil. <laughs> Whew, man. Wow, that's awesome. Well, that's pretty much it for this mod. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the page, um, and yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it.